for us. Oh man, we're matching again. <laughs> we even got the white chips! Dude, why do we always gotta do this shit? Come on, brother. I was That's like, okay. mm, I'm not gonna wear my commander because he's probably gonna wear it. <laughs> You guys have been nagging me for a while because I've been showing you guys the wheels for the Civic, just like sneak peeks. But I've been saying we're waiting for tires. Where are we at, boy? Here. <laughs> what kind of answer is that? <laughs> we had Toyo tires, baby. It smells like tires. Dude, you're making a mess, man. Come on. I don't even have the lights on in here yet. I have peanut butter on my pants. Peanut butter on your pants. Peanut butter on the flow. <laughs> Stop moving! Dude, everywhere you go, you drip more peanut butter. Alright, so this morning, we finally picked up tires. I've been leaking these wheels to you guys in like a lot of videos, and I've been doing it for probably over a month, maybe two months. I've been waiting until everything else was figured out, and it's finally time to put these wheels on. I know you guys have been waiting for this for so long. So this morning, we picked up a brand new set of tires for this, but I actually did this a little bit differently. Most times, and in most people's videos and stuff, what they would do is just get the most high performance tires you could ever get. While we work on the BRZ, we'll work on the S10 and everything, the Civic's gonna be my car. So instead of getting the most high performance tire I could possibly get, since I live in Vancouver and it rains all the time, we actually went out and we picked up some Extenza HP2s. These guys are like a really high performance, still directional, but they're also button snow rated, which basically just means they're an all season tire. These guys are like the most performance, non track tire I could go with. Did I say that right? Yeah, sure, why not? Basically my thought process is in the spring I'll pick up something more aggressive, but for now, considering I'm gonna be driving this for the next little while, these should do absolutely perfectly. And we also picked these up in a 225.50. These are gonna be big. These are gonna be beefy. And I'm excited. I'm actually really excited. We can finally show these wheels to you guys. I'm so excited. I love these. I really like these wheels. Unboxing quality, that was very poor because we've been in there a bunch of times. Oh, Yo, that's like the best shot. It's actually having a really hard time like grasping it. It just looks so black. There, if we get it out of the sun, you guys can see it better actually. So these are the Odhan AH01s in the black finish and then I got the little gold hardware pieces. I think this looks so cool. I think I have a thing for like rotational wheels. Not majorly, but I, I do like wheels that have this kind of look like they're kind of just bending in the middle. It's literally the same thing that's on the BRZ. It looks like someone grabbed it and just twisted it a little bit. And my, my Ankies, the TM7s, they also look like that. These are Odhan AH01s. These are 16 by eights, so they're the same size that the Civic has right now. That was wrong. The Civic right now has 15 by 8. So these giant turds are 15 by 8s and this is a 195.50. So it's a little bit stretchy. It's actually not like terribly stretched, but those are 15 by 8s and then these are 16 by 8s. So they're one size up, which should fill in the space on the body a little bit better because that body kit kind of gaps weird now. The wheels look too small. And the offset is only a little bit more than those wheels. So those wheels are like a plus 20 or 25 offset. And these wheels are plus 15. The reason I did this was because I knew I wanted to go with a beefier setup. I'm not a fan of like the stretchiness, especially because I can barely put any of that power to the ground already. I'm having a really hard time putting power to the ground with the sieve. So I wanted to get something a little bit beefier, something with a little bit more meat, but I didn't want to get like the most perfect fitment on the wheel and then we can't get a right tire going. I am aware maybe we'll put a 10 mil spacer on, maybe we won't, like I don't know how bad it's gonna be. I wanted to get the tire mounted on the wheel and get it on the car and then I'd rather play with spacers than have, have to get a different tire size that isn't what I want. It's the beginning of winter tire season, so it's gonna be a while. All right, we just got back, we picked up these wheels. Dude, they look so good. I'm, I'm curious to see how they'll be on the car, because they're big. It's the biggest set of tires I've ever done. 
It's like the least stretch. You can stack them without them touching each other. And I know there's gonna be a lot of you that see this and you just throw your phone and you're like, no, we want stretchy tires. We're not doing that right now. And then I just wanna show you guys too what, what else we got in the box. Odhan sent out a full new set of lug nuts, which are obviously spiked, dude. They blew through the whole box. Yeah, these things are really cool. So these are like a gunmetal gray color. Just to kind of offset the black, I didn't wanna get everything in black. So we got these in gunmetal gray, and they also sent out valve stems, which is kind of cool. They sent out these little guys. These are like little odd Han valve stems. They got little rubber gaskets, so they shouldn't leak or anything. Like I know a lot of people worry about that, but these are sick. They just blend right into the wheel, like way better. I think they're cool. I don't know. I've never seen them before, so I think they're cool. Okay, bro, are we ready? Yeah. Ooh, look at that, dude. That's so beefy. These are sick. So these tires are actually a lot stickier than I thought they were gonna be. Like us just rolling them around, they're flinging rocks everywhere. And what's good with this is like, this is a full width, like contact point. These guys definitely will get us the grip we're looking for. I'm pretty stoked on them. They're, they're like just a little bit chunky. Like when you look at them, it'll probably make it sit a little bit higher. It'll probably mean I have to raise it a little bit too, just to clear these wheels. But I think they look dope. <laughs> yeah. Emerson took the freaking impact like two weeks ago and the charger and never brought it back. All my tools are <laughs> dead. So I'm using this corded drill to take this off. I would use the impact if we didn't already break them, but we already broke them all loose, so what's the point? They're <laughs> Holy sh**. Dude, they're also like massive. Look at that size comparison. Like get a side shot on that. Dude, that's big. Yeah, it's gonna work. It's actually fine though, because if you look at it like this way, so if you line them up in the center, the rim is one inch bigger, that's... We only went this much rounder, yeah. Like it's only not even an inch. But hey. If it holds grip. If it holds grip, and the tires don't go flat every two days. There we go. Look at that, that, that looks serious. Like we're about to throw it out. <laughs> trailer tires. These are my new trailer tires. What? Oh, I don't know. I don't know, it's in there, but like, ooh, it's close. Like, very close. Here, one sec. Yeah. Holy, ah. Oh, that is close. It looks good, though. Can you give it a little bounce? We need to make sure we can actually drive like this before I destroy everything we just did. Okay, that looks good. Give the wheel a little turn and it again. Go harder. I don't wanna. You're like, it, if Wait, we hit. You won't be hitting it, like, you're not turning up to the driveway this fast, like this hard. No, no, I know. That was, that's still pretty good. For, for the amount you're jumping on it, it's doing all right. See the seam here? Yeah. Oh, we're a little too low here. That seam, you gotta bash it in and cut it out. You're gonna cut through your tire. Ooh, is it touching right now? Oh, so we can't even go anywhere until we bash that seam out. Aside from those things up, it fits really nice. Like just, just look at this. Yo, know, I hope they can see this on the camera. This looks so aggressive. I love them. All right, so I think the wheel fitment is exactly what I'm going for, but I like, I can't drive this anywhere yet. And I really want to. <laughs> I really want to be able to drive this thing and I really want to be able to just like go look at it somewhere. So bad news is we got to raise it. Good news is it's going to look dope. All right, so in the front, it seems like it's hitting this seam like only in the back when it's turning. So when you're just sitting straight, it's fine, but obviously if you hit a bump big enough, it would kind of like, the, this will kind of gouge into the tire, which is not what we want. So obviously I don't want this thing to be a monster truck, but I'm gonna go ahead and raise it probably like an inch, maybe, maybe half an inch to start and we'll see what that looks like. Obviously like I prefer not to do much, but it's to the point where if it's gonna run better, be like easier to drive every day, I don't care anymore. I just, I just wanna drive it. If I gotta drive it high, I gotta drive it high. So that'll save me from blowing out my new tires and let me drive the car I've been building for the last year, then I'm gonna do it. So like that gave us probably a bit more clearance now. That was, I don't know, maybe only like a half inch and now it's probably a quarter folded. But the main purpose of that is like if we do bottom out and I smoke this, at least now it's round, I'll hear it so I'll know to fix it, but at least it won't be like, this, where it's like slicing into the tire. Yeah. 
<laughs> Yo, this is it. This is it. This is literally what we've been waiting for for so long for the sieve to finally look good. You guys frequently comment on like all my videos. You're like, you should get black wheels. You should get black wheels. Doesn't matter what car, people are a huge fan of black wheels. I'm not. I don't like black wheels. I think they kind of look like winters, like they kind of look like snow tires. They're sort of hard to see, especially on like camera and stuff like that. Like sometimes it's really hard to like grasp how really nice they look. But I've got to say this was like the best choice. Putting black wheels on this car absolutely tied everything together and it looks so killer. It looks so good. And I, I like when you're like dead on with the wheel, the camera can focus on like the little gold nuts. Like it's not in focus over here. So right off the bat, driving this thing over here, the tire's way better, like way better. The ride is a lot nicer. Um, it's like more comfortable, I think, because there's more sidewall. It feels like, like, it just feels less violent when I'm driving it around. It's kind of fallen out of its tune. I don't know what happened, but it doesn't like to boost in third gear at all anymore. Like it just won't load boost at all. I don't really know what to do about that. I'm gonna have to take it back and get tuned. So I'm not gonna try and show you guys because it's kind of embarrassing, but I, I hooked second a lot quicker than normal. So usually I like, I just blow first, like just no grip. And then I nail second and I'm still burning. And this time it was just like chirp into second and that was it, which is tight, dude. That means I get way more grip. It's gonna be way faster, way nicer to drive. Absolutely love it. And these are just all seasons. So I'm really excited for maybe when spring comes around for me to put like actual performance tires on here by Toyo. These things are very, very good. Yo, why do these birds gotta fly over me every time I'm trying to film here? So definitely huge thank you to Toyo for hooking us up with these tires. And of course my boys at Odd Han Wheels, Again, you guys are killing it with these wheels. People always come doing like a hundred miles an hour around this corner and then they see me and they're like, what are you doing there, dude? You're in, you're in the middle of the road. And that guy went on the wrong side. All right. Odhan makes an absolutely killer selection of wheels. Like I highly go recommend you guys check them out. They don't pay me to tell you that, I just love them. They're on the BRZ, they're on the Civ. They look so clean and they're super affordable. It is no longer like low at all. I used to barely be able to get anything under there. I kind of don't mind that. Like I, I, I backed out of my driveway, didn't even have to air up. I just backed straight out. No Sorry? No, no I'm just taking some photos. Oh, Thank okay, you. No problem. Okay. I appreciate it. There's two types of people in this world. People like that, that are making sure I'm not having a problem. And then people that come down the street raging, honking their horn. As if I'm doing something totally wrong. I'm in a golf course, so no one really comes in here. Anyways, the fitment on these things ended up being really, really nice. Like if you look at this, people were like, yeah, you're gonna need big spacers, but like, that is pretty close. When you when Emerson was jumping on here, it was barely clearing. So I think we're gonna leave it like that. I don't think we're gonna get spacers. Maybe like a slip on 10 in the rear because that's kind of kind of needs it. But as far as front fitment, I think the front fitment is absolutely perfect. So these wheels definitely bring out all the black. Now this side skirt that you guys all hated that I painted black. Hopefully you will enjoy that a little bit more. I tried to get you guys some really nice photos here. I tried to get some wallpapers. Um, we have like really nice fall colors going on right now. So I tried my best to get some wallpapers. Um, I think the easiest way I used to put them on the website so you could download them in high res. But what I'm gonna do now is just I'm gonna put a tab on my Instagram. You guys can just go on there, snag the really nice ones off Instagram. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. And then in one of those little highlight things, I'm just gonna have wallpapers for you guys. That's the easiest way. I really have to pee, so I'm gonna head out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you like this video and definitely check out Instagram for wallpapers. I will catch you guys next time. Thank you guys so much. Peace out and stay committed.